Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do a quick love reading. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. If you need to get in contact with me, everything you need is in the description box. All right. Thank you. And let's get into it. Let's see, Cancer. How do you feel about your person? All right, Cancer. You feel like the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen, the Page of Swords. So you feel like you want some opportunity with them. You want an opportunity to get to know them, uh, to talk to them. Um, you could even be reframing from communication because you don't want it to turn into argument. Uh, you want to know about what they're doing. You want to know deeper. You want to uncover something. You you feel you have a suspicion here. Um, you feel like it's a yes answer. It's like you want to present something to them, but there's delays. Yeah, um, the Empress card. It's like you want a new start. You want to be with them. You want a new start in a relationship. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you want you know, marriage or this person wants marriage with you or they want a baby with you or they want a family. They see longevity. They see their life, you know, with you um, or this is what you see. Um, but this is about, you know, how cancer views their person. You have the seven of wands. You feel like they blocked you or there's blockage here. You can't penetrate. Um, somebody's being proactive. They put up the blockers uh, for whatever reason. Yeah, the nine of pentacles, you feel like your person is the perfect person. And they check all boxes. They, they're very abundant, independent, ferociously independent. Uh, the seven of cups, you think about them, wishful thinking, uh, maybe even getting drunk or intoxicated or out of your mind. And you think about them, you think about going to them, making a chance, taking a chance and, and coming to them, reaching out to them. There's fantasy daydreaming here. Um, yeah, page of pentacles. You know that you need to make a decision of who you want to be with, how you want to do it, uh, and when also. You need consistency. Or you need to be consistent, or you want consistency from your person. All right, let's see. What else does how does else does cancer feel about their person? Let's see. Yeah, the two of cups. You feel like this is a mutually beneficial relationship. You feel like there's friendship and love, which can equal marriage. You feel like if it's a severed relationship, which I kind of see is blockage here. You want it to heal the connection. This is your energy. Ace of Cups, you get a big cup of love for them. I don't know if you told them. I don't know if you've shown them. But your love is singular. Even if you have other people. Even if you've dealt with uh, the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, you definitely want reconciliation. You, so reconciliation is not always we just come back together and be together. But it's about so you can reconcile your bank bank your bank account right so you you're making you're looking over it to make sure everything matches everything is in order nothing is out of order there's no double charging or you know in, in sorts so it's like you want to come back to your person or you want them to come back to you but you want to look over the situation um you want to talk it over so that you guys can move forward and you can have true uh healing reconciliation you also look up to your person uh is there's something about beauty and fashion uh in terms of your person uh healing with uh this purple coming you know in this card um you could feel as if they're very healing they have a healing energy yeah you want a, a healthy wealthy marriage marriage coming up again with temperance card you feel like there's a lot of balance this is your twin flame soulmate whatever they just bring balance into your life um, when things are out of whack, they bring balance. Um, this is how you feel about your person. All right. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Uh, oh, well, you know, I guess you already know how you feel about your person. Let's see how they feel about you. Where are we? Three minutes. All right, let's see. How does Cancer's person feel about them? Okay. The four of pentacles, they, they could be closed off to you. Okay. They don't want to have the conversation. Uh, they could be focused on money. Uh, the four of pentacles is like self-care um, roots, laying down roots, maintaining their level of stability. Three of wands. Your person feels like you need to reach out first. You need to take the lead on this. You need to communicate first. Um, they feel like uh, they have far reaching viewpoint of you. You have the emperor. Wow. You had the emperors. They had the emperor. So they see you as, you know, like um, a very strong figure, um, very stable um, maybe even kind of stoic and a little bit stubborn. Um, but they see you as having, your, you know, stability. Main maintenance is what's coming up. Okay. Um, the high priestess could be cancer, Piscean energy. So they see you as mysterious, sexy, the person above all people in their life. 
you give everybody a run for their money. You're the threat, especially if you're feminine woman energy. Um, they see you as quiet, not doing anything, not taking any uh, leap towards in the Ten of Wands. They see you as maybe um, coming through some karmic cycle, needing to release. Um, they see you as maybe having a lot on your plate, working a lot, something about health, inflammation uh, of, of some sort. I don't know. They see you as, um, you know, just kind of picking away at it, not knowing where, which direction, not knowing how this is going to shape out. You just keep showing up for, for life. You, no real direction, almost like the eight of cups wandering. That's how they see you. You know, they see you as just, you know, picking up your cross and just bearing it. The fool card. So they see you, yeah, as kind of foolish, childish, um, not knowing where you're going, following a pipe dream, uh, needing to grow up, needing to have growth. They see you as the one, but they don't know where the relationship is going. And they're tired with the Ten of Wands of maybe carrying the burden, you know, of the relationship or the brunt of the relationship or having all the obligation or having being the responsible one is what I heard. Um, they don't want to be the scapegoat anymore either. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to my channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.